So in my official playoff prediction video, I predicted that the Denver Nuggets were going to repeat this year in the NBA playoffs and win the 2024 NBA championship. They obviously lost in game seven of the Western Conference semifinals against the Minnesota Timberwolves after getting blown out up three games to two. Minnesota forces a game seven and then Denver blows a 20 point lead to be sent home in round two, just one year after winning the NBA championship. So what is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? I did not expect Denver to lose in game seven. I thought they were going to win it. It was at home as well. I'm recording this right after Boston beat Indiana in overtime in game number one. So I'm recording this before a Minnesota or Dallas game. So I don't know how that series is going to go so far, but I'm still kind of in shock that Denver is not going to be repeating this year, or at least is not going back to the conference finals. So we're going to see where we want to take this team. Two case predicting Minnesota and Boston to make it to the NBA finals. Uh, Boston swept and Minnesota ended up winning in seven with Anthony Edwards averaging 44 points and getting finals MVP. Yeah, he's a stud in this game. There goes Greg Popovich. He retires as a head coach. Russell Westbrook calls it a quits and he's heading to the Hall of Fame. Obviously very deserving there. We're obviously going to keep Mike Malone around as our head coach. And I do plan on keeping my first round pick late in the first round, which it's nice that Denver does have. Nicole Jokic is under contract for the next four years, making a boatload of money. We are going to have to work out an extension with Jamal Murray. I think Michael Porter Jr. is going to be the one interesting piece throughout this video. Is he going to be someone that's going to be here long term? Or are we going to look for somebody that can maybe facilitate a little bit more? But in his role specifically, he's really good in Denver, man. Uh, Aaron Gordon has a player option next year. We can get an extension done as well. KCP could opt out. I would like to bring him back because he's an underrated defender. He's a good three-point shooter. Perfect 3 D guy. We just need the bench to step up pretty much. And funny enough, I'm going to go with Zach Eady here late in the first round. He's just going to be the backup center to Nikola Jokic. I really just need him to play 15, 18 minutes a night and will probably be better than Zeke Naji, in my opinion. And then the second round, I did get Reese Beekman out of Virginia, a more defensive-minded point guard. So we're going to sign both these guys right here. Team player options. KCP does opt in, which is great for us because if he does regress, then we could just call it a quits with him after this season. We're going to pick up the team options on Christian Brown and Peyton Watson. I thought about drafting Tyler Kolick late in the first round and I didn't and Reggie Jackson opts in so he could probably be the backup point guard next year and Vaco we are gonna actually let walk into free agency I'll give Colin Gillespie the qualifying offer but not to the other two uh here in free agency uh, is Siakam I assume he's gonna go back to Indiana uh we don't really have anybody to re-sign and we don't have too much of cap space or any exceptions to use right now so our team is kind of set once again for next year like we need maybe Julian Strother or Peyton Watson or even Christian Brown in general to take a step because I think we do lack like a sixth man score right now. And that's why I'm just going to give like Luke Kennard a one-year deal. He's not going to crack the immediate rotation, but if I feel like I need him, it's going to like break glass of emergency type thing. And then we'll insert him into the starting uh, lineup if needed or not the starting lineup, but in the uh, rotation to be the sixth man. As Siakam does go back to Indiana, Maxi back to Philly, Paul George back to the Clippers, DeRozan goes to the Thunder. All right, so Nicole Jokic is regressing. Interesting. Jamal Murray regresses as well. Maybe it's because we got bounced in round number two, Michael Porter Jr., is going up at least. Uh, Aaron Gordon's an 85 overall. KCP starting to regress. Luke Kennard regresses. It's going to be an interesting season from the Nuggets. And we do need to cut somebody before the season starts. I'm sorry, Colin Gillespie. And obviously, DeAndre Jordan isn't here anymore. So I think that's like where Zach Eady can come into play. Uh, like I mentioned, Luke Kennard is not going to be in the rotation to start off the season. I mean, am I missing anybody else here? No, I think these guys are probably not going to crack it. Maybe we give like seven minutes a night to Reggie Jackson. Let's go 10-2. Uh, Zach Eady, probably 12 to Zeke Naji, 13 to Strother. We'll do 18 to Peyton Watson. Uh, Christian Brown will be the sixth man. He'll get 22 minutes a night. Jokic at 35. We'll go 34 to Murray, 28 to KCP, and we'll do one more to Michael Porter Jr. That is obviously just for the regular season. We are four star pace in space. I guess I might as well send somebody to the G League that's not cracking the rotation. So that could be Reese Beekman, our second round pick. We have a road game to start off the year. Embiid versus Jokic. I mean, that'd be pretty sick. That's what the NBA should do. Because the last couple of times Embiid has not been healthy against Jokic uh, when these two guys uh, match up against each other. And they did play each other, I think, back in January, though. But Embiid hasn't played in Denver in a minute. But if you do this, like, opening night, hey, it's a pretty good chance that both of them are going to be healthy. And Jokic just had a sick game to start off the season. And then we beat the Hawks by 22. 28, actually. I can't read. Um, and then can we start off the season 3? You know, like, when is our first loss going to be? I feel like we should beat the Hornets, but you never know with 2K. And we did beat them by 11. There we go. Hey, man, 3-0 starts of the season. 4-0, we were able to beat the Jazz by 33 points. And the first loss of the year is going to be by 23 
to the Blazers. Shout out to Jeremy Grant. All right, so we're here at the 2025 trade deadline. We are 35 and 16 right now. We're in kind of the top tier of teams in the Western Conference, right up there with OKC and Dallas. A little bit of a championship hangover for the Minnesota Timberwolves. We are the second best offensive team. Defense, we are number four in the West. Point differential, we are number two, but almost like half of behind the OKC Thunder, unfortunately. Jokic is putting up MVP statistics, 30 points, 12 and a half rebounds, nine half assists, elite efficiency. Jamal Murray being as good of a number two option than you can ask for. Also posting a career high in assist. Michael Porter Jr. has been fairly good as well. That free throw percentage has dropped a little bit. Aaron Gordon, his efficiency has also dropped a little bit this season, which is unfortunate. We're getting fine play out of uh, Christian Brown. Zach Eadie's actually been very good in his limited playing time. Julian Strother, I think, has improved this year. And I don't think that we're going to make a trade at this year's deadline. I think a big move could come in the off seasons. Uh, maybe we'll see, but I'm going to re-sign Jamal Murray. We're going to give him about $35 million a year, four years. Uh, so it's going to be around like, what 140 million dollars over the next four years but it's ascending as well as for Aaron Gordon I can only give him a three-year extension and it's going to be 22 million per year but that's going to go up every year as well obviously these guys are going to get very expensive for the Nuggets in real life and they're going to be deep into the luxury tax once Jokic is super max it's like fully in effect and Murray's extension and Gordon's extension so I wonder if like I feel like if they had to decide between Michael Porter Jr. or Aaron Gordon, I feel like you got to take Aaron Gordon. Luka Doncic averaged a 32-point triple-double this past season. Uh, Ron Holland, rookie of the year, fell all the way to the Chicago Bulls. Good pick by them. Sixth man of the year, Josh Hart. Now that the Knicks are fully healthy, he's coming off the bench. Wemby, Depoy, most improved goes to Walker Kessler. And clutch player of the year goes to Luka Doncic. Could definitely see Kessler in the most improved conversation next year. If he could just improve off of his rookie year, not be kind of stagnant um, where he was in year number two. We did get Nikola Jokic on all NBA first team. No Jamal Murray making it at all. We didn't get anybody on an all defensive team either. And we finished the season as the three seed. So the Nuggets were the two seed in real life. OKC gets the one seed again. Dallas goes from the four seed to the two seed. Minnesota goes from the three seed to the seven seed. Pelicans go up. Eight seed to six seed. Portland gets into the playoffs and Sacramento as well. And the Clippers drop to the eight seed. So yeah, we still have our core. We'll see if we can go all the way. Once again, we're going to have a very tough test, I believe, in round two. I think we'll be just okay in round one. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to play Reggie Jackson in the playoffs. Zeke Naji did play fine this season, but like a part of me doesn't even know if I'm going to play him. Uh, let's get obviously Zach Eady into that rotation. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Zach Eady's going to get like 10 minutes a night. Uh, we're going to go 14 to straw there. We could probably go like eight to Najee just because we're playing Zach Eady. Peyton Watson, I mean, was fine. I think I'm going to go like 16 minutes to him. Let's go 20 to Christian Brown. 40 to Jokic. Let's do 38 to Murray. Let's do 29 to KCP. Uh, 32 to Porter Jr., 33 to Aaron Gordon. We could rock something like that. Take it on the Pelicans roster. That still has Brandon Ingram. They drafted Kalel Ware. Um, they've added Alec Burks to their bench and Royce O'Neal as well. I do believe we're going to be just fine against them, and we do win by 11 in game one. Jokic is a 31-point triple-double. Game number two is going to go to the Denver Nuggets. We end up winning by 17. Jokic with 40, 10, and 13. Game number three goes to the New Orleans Pelicans. They end up winning by two points. MPJ with 25. Jokic with 24. Zion at 28. Game number four, they tie it up. This would be a real wake-up call if we lost in round number one to the Pelicans. Game five goes to the Pelicans by six. You've got to be kidding me. Jokic. I need you to take over, man. I know you're averaging insane numbers in the first five games, but we're down three games to two. And Minnesota, I think it, they said it just swept Dallas as the two seed. Oh my God, but we're not going to be able to beat New Orleans. This is insane. Oh, this is a wake-up call. Okay, okay, no, we're still alive. We're still alive. Let's calm down. Up by two here in the fourth. Up by one. Up by five. We're going to advance to a game seven. Okay, we stay alive. 28, 11, and 14 from Jokic. Two, three, and one. Insane numbers on great efficiency as well. Wow, I can't believe Minnesota swept Dallas. That is insane. Game seven here at the Ball Arena. Let's see if we're able to beat them. We get outscored by 13 in the first quarter. All right, we're down by 12 right now. I'm going to need you guys to step it up here in the fourth. We're down by 19. It may be over. Wow, we get blown out at home for the second straight game seven losing at home. That is insane. All right, um, a round one exit to the Pelicans. I was real cocky and I thought we were going to advance past them and that did not happen. I mean, Jokic was great. Jamal Murray was solid, I, I would say. Michael Porter Jr., I mean, like, knew his role. I thought Aaron Gordon was fine. I mean, the three-point percentage is kind of a letdown. I think we just have to improve the bench, and that's what we're going to do in the offseason. Are you kidding me? This would have been the year to go back to the finals. OKC lost to the Clippers in six. I never see that happen. Wow. Did they... Tr Wait, what? They traded Paul George for Ben Simmons? Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, 2K, you are on one for this video. Game one, the Clippers won by two. <laughs> James Wiseman, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Bone Tyler, and Bebo Paul, like Ben Simmons are beating them. That is insane. Wow. And I'm surprised Dallas got swept. Sacramento and Portland are going to a game seven. And it's Port. Wow. Man, this would have been wide open for us. Damn. That is insane. Um, I'm sure Cleveland's going to win it all. No. The Knicks and Jalen Brunson are going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have a chance to go back to back. And no, the Knicks sweep them this time around. Shout out to Brunson, 36 3 and 8 on elite efficiency, 64 61 92 splits. That's absurd. LeBron always be retiring on the Pistons, man. It really doesn't make any sense whatsoever. There is a year that we don't own one of our first round picks, and it is this year. It is from the Aaron Gordon trade, so the Magic are going to be getting it at 26. Mike Malone, obviously not going to let him go right now. All right, so with the emergence of Zach Eady, I don't Z need Zeke Naji. I'm going to make this trade. I'm going to try it at least. They may say no to this, but Michael Porter Jr. for Kyle Kuzma, who can kind of replicate, I think, Michael Porter Jr., not at the elite shooting level, but I think has a little bit more playmaking ability and can knock down some threes consistently, but getting Denny of Dia, who I think could be the next Aaron Gordon, someone that could be this playmaking forward that could just really excel in a new role, and we're going to see if we can get him to Denver. They are going to say no, but if I give them OKC's 2027 first, they'll give me Markel Fultz, who's actually a pretty good backup point guard for us. So this is going to improve the bench, which I think is what we need to do. We make a blockbuster trade there with the Washington Wizards. We didn't have any draft picks here. The Bulls ended up with Cooper Flagg. Uh, Nets got Trey Johnson, Ian Jackson to the Rockets, Ace Bailey to the Warriors, and Bryson Tucker to the Thunder. We're going to pick up the team options on all these guys, but I don't think Strother and Watson are both going to be on this team next year. Uh, I'm going to give KCP like a two-year deal worth $4 million. He may be like the ninth man in the rotation. I'll sign Reggie Jackson back, but Fultz is going to play over him. And I think I need some more shooting and shot creation off the bench. And I'm going to make this trade with the Atlanta Hawks. We're going to give them Peyton Watson and Hunter Tyson. I'm going to give Muhammad Gay, but I'm most notably getting AJ Griffin, who has had a very good rookie season, but has fallen out of that rotation since. Um, I actually, I don't know why he's two and a half stars the way he's playing. Like I should be able to offer just like Hunter Tyson for him and keep Peyton Watson. I mean, I don't think that's actually going to work because I got to throw in $3 million more in this deal, and I don't want to move Brown. I mean, I don't even think... I mean, Beekman and Tyson for A.J. Griffin, would that work? They say no. What about if I... I don't have any seconds. That's the issue. Um, I would also throw in... That's really it. All right, I may just do that original trade. Yeah, just because I believe in A.J. Griffin shot more than I do of Peyton Watson. Uh, we do have somewhat of a mid-level... Not really a mid-level exception. Let's just see after day three. Who can I maybe sign? It's around $4 million. I mean, Sam Hauser, I could have just signed for some three-point shooting. I think I'm just going to go for, like, another guard. I mean, Caruso in his defense, but he's probably just not even going to crack the rotation. He doesn't, like, he regresses poorly in this game. And player progression, Jokic is a 97, Murray's an 88, Gordon 85. We have Kuzma and Abdiya. I think I'm going to start Denny, and we're going to have Gordon, or excuse me, Kuzma come off the bench as the sixth man. All right, I think KCP is not going to make the rotation this year, but that could obviously change. We're going to go about, I think, 12 minutes to Edie. We'll do uh, 15 to AJ Griffin, uh, 15 to Strother, 13 to Fultz, 12 to Edie. Then I got about four more minutes here. I'm going to go 26 to Brown. Hopefully he could just replicate of what uh, KCP has been doing. And let's go 32 to Denny, 36 to Jokic, 34 to Jamal Murray. Uh, this team under Mike Malone with its pace and space system proficiency, um, or it's at four stars for his preferred system. Hopefully this team is a little bit better. The bench is much improved. We start off the season with a 143 110 victory over the Phoenix Suns. Kuzma's dropping 26 points off the bench. You love to see it. All right, so we're here at the 2026 trade deadline, and we are 28 and 22. Yeah, eight games back of the Thunder and pretty much eight and a half games back of the Mavericks. So not great, or eight games back of the Mavericks, I should say, seven and a half back of the Thunder. So we're in like a tier below now, it seems like. Our offense is still really good. Our defense is a little bit worse maybe just uh taking out kcp from the lineup maybe i got to include him back in yoke just still putting up good numbers same with jamal murray denny's efficiency you know has been good for us and is good playmaking kuzma's been efficient off the bench aaron gordon has been good why can't he get a free throw i don't know christian brown's been efficient as he's a free agent at the end of the year i feel like we have the depth on this team Maybe I think I'm just going to give it a run in the playoffs. We can't really re-sign anyone right now. I don't want to re-sign uh, Kyle Kuzma just yet. I don't know what I'm going to do with him specifically. So I will see you guys at the end of the 2026 season. And Shea Gojus Alexander wins MVP, 28.5 points, 7 rebounds, and 10 assists. Cooper Flagg is your rookie of the year. Dylan Harper, sixth man. Wemby takes home deep point. Bone Thailand, most improved in LA. He's turned himself around in his career, which is cool to see. Donovan Mitchell, clutch player. Mark Dadno, coach of the year. As I'm a little nervous for the playoffs. I can't lie. Jokic puts up about 25 points, 11 rebounds, and 9 assists tonight on 52, 41, 81 splits. 
it's unreal what he could put up for us. No Jamal Murray on all NBA second or third team. And that's pretty much it for us. So we are going to go into the playoffs as the four seed. Going up against the five seeded Memphis Grizzlies with Ja, Desmond Bain, Vince Williams, Isaiah Stewart, and Jaron Jackson Jr. They have Reed Shepard as well. Dylan Harper, Gigi Jackson off the bench. That's a good team over there in Memphis. Here was the scoring at the end of the year with Jamal Murray being our second winning scorer, followed by Denny, Kuzma, and Aaron Gordon. And then Brown, Strother, Fultz, Edie Griffin has followed. Uh, yeah, Griffin for Watson, maybe not the greatest trade in the world. I took a chance on that one, and sometimes they just don't work out. As it looks like maybe, I don't know. Um, I think Michael Porter Jr. was traded for, was it DeAndre Aiden? Yes, he was. So he's now playing in Portland right now in the same division in the Northwest. They did not even make the playing tournament this season. All right, let's see if we can beat Memphis here in round number one and get our first playoff series victory at, since we've been controlling the Nuggets as Gordon puts up 27, 13, and five in game number one. We ended up winning by 15. Game two goes to Memphis. They won by two. So they split the uh, two games in Denver. Not a great start. Game three in Memphis, we do end up winning by four points in overtime. Thank God. Wow. All right. Jamal Murray puts up 26. Jokic had 15 points, seven rebounds, and nine assists. Game number four goes to the Denver Nuggets as we are up three to one. We ended up winning 114, 110. Jokic and Murray combined for 60 points. That's what I'm talking about. And game number five goes to the Denver Nuggets. Jokic puts up 29, 13, and six. Christian Brown had 19 in the starting five. We won by 12, and we get our first playoff series victory of the video we're going to be taking on the okc thunder in round number two so in round one Jokic averaged 25 eight and a half and eight murray averaged 23 and a half four and a half um and eight as well denny of dia pretty good stuff and yeah we gotta take on okc now shea giddy dort j dove alperud shangun just with chad holmgren there demar derozan wallace isaac jalen smith vj edgecomb that is such a deep team that vj edgecomb is not even playing for them the 12th overall pick game one goes to okc i just want to split them just split the first two games in OKC, please. And we do. That Let's go. That is huge. We outscored them by 10 in the fourth quarter. We won by nine. Let's freaking go, man. Huge game three in Denver. We take it. Let's go. We ended up winning by nine. That is massive. Five steals for Jokic. That's kind of crazy. Three blocks for Aaron Gordon. Can we take a three to one lead? No, they tied up. They ended up winning by 12. So we split the first two in OKC. We split the next two in Denver. Can we uh, Can we steal game five? This is the big game here. This would be so huge to go up three games to two. It's back and forth. We're up by five. We're up by nine right now in the fourth quarter. Don't blow this. And it's looking real good. We're up by 13. I think we're going to win this. And we end up winning by 16. Jokic with 32, 12, and 8. What a stud, man. And game number six at home. Let's see what happens here. Are we able to win game six? I don't want to go to a game seven against this OKC team. I will not feel good about that. We are up by 20. Let's go. I think those trades in the offseason worked. Unless we're about to choke this away. We're up by 11. We're up by 9. Up by 8. We're going to be just okay. We end up winning by 7. 126, 119. We won at home to advance to the conference finals for the first time since the 2023 season. And we avoid like Dallas. We don't have to play Minnesota. We don't even have to face Wemby. We're taking on the Sacramento Kings, a team we should beat. They don't even have De'Aaron Fox anymore. Who did they trade Fox for? Oh my God. No way Milwaukee pulled off Fox for Middleton. That is insane. And they also have Miles Bridges as well, and they still couldn't get out of round one. So this is a Kings team. We should 100% beat, and they beat us by three in game one. All right, Sabonis puts up a 27-point triple-double. He's trying to go triple-double for triple-double against Jokic. Game two goes to Denver. We ended up winning by three, so we split the first two in Sacramento. Man, I am nervous about this series. Game three does go to Denver. We end up winning by 13. Murray with 33, 22-point triple-double for Jokic, 18 off the bench for Kuzma. Game number four, boom, we end up winning. We blow them out of the building by 35 points. A triple-double for Jokic, 23-8-5 for Denny, 29-10 for Jamal Murray. Christian Brown had five assists as well, and it's looking real good for us. We do end up, oh my God, we got blown out in game five. Okay, that's fine because we're going to win game six, right? Nope, we're going to a game seven. We ended up losing by two at home. I hate you so much, 2K. Why do we have to do this? All right, here we go. Game seven on the road in Sacramento. I don't feel good about this. Are we really about to blow a three to one lead? To, in my opinion, an inferior team. We have the best player in the series. All right, great third quarter, but then you kind of choked it at the end. Oh my God, what is that start to the fourth? Please come back. Please come back. We're down by eight. Oh my God, we're screwed. And we don't even have the ball either. They moved Sabonis to the four. They have Isaiah Hardenstein now. Oh my God, steal that. Oh, damn it. All right, out of bounds. Give me that. Yes, let's go, let's go. We got the steal there. Okay, go up, Jamal. Go, go, go. We got to score quickly. Jamal, get to the rim. Please don't blow that in one. Let's go, Jamal. 
All right, we have a chance to make this a five-point game. Huge steal and one Jamal Murray. Please hit the free throw. Thank you. They're probably going to go to Sabonis in the post. All right, Jokic, you're going to have to play some good posty. I mean, I don't trust Davy. I'm like, oh my God, Jokic, what is that posty? Oh, Gordon, help me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh no, you got to get up there. Keegan can shoot. No, God damn it. What are, where are our rotations, man? Jamal Murray, that's a two. Please make that at least. And he misses it. Oh, Jokic, thank God he got the rebound. Thank God, he's got 28. All right, Jokic, that was the worst post defense I've ever seen on Sabonis, or yeah, on Sabonis right there. So let's try to do this a little bit better. I'll control Jokic this time. They're gonna throw it in. We're right here. We're right here. Good defense. No, mm, he's too good. This is gonna be such a bad loss, man. Denny to the rim. I should have probably kicked that out to Aaron Gordon, but a nice quick score. Back down by six. All right, we definitely don't need to foul. I mean, actually, hold on one second. Let me just see. What does Davion Mitchell shoot from the line? Because he's somebody we could definitely target. Oh, he shoots 84%. All right, who who does not? I wish Drummond was out there. I mean, Keegan Murray shoots 90%. Nettleton's not great. Monk is elite. I mean, I guess Hardenstein would be the guy to foul if he does get the ball. Oh, no, Hardenstein's not even out there. So I guess Middleton is the guy we would want to foul. Uh, but uh, it's not going to come to that yet. All right, they're going to kick it to Sabonis. Jokic, please stay in front. All right, kicks it out to Keegan. I can't believe he hit that three. No, get over the screen, please. Jokic, come on, contest. All right, he misses it. Let's go. We're going to score quickly. Run, Denny, run. Oh, my God, I need a three. I need a three. Is someone going to be open? Jamal? Please get him in the air. Damn it. I need a screen. I need, oh, Jamal, take that. Please. I need that. I know you're tired. No. <sighs> We've been eliminated in seven games. Damn, that was our chance, man. Like, we avoided the... Like, we beat the Thunder. That was a tough team to beat. And we lost to the Kings. Pacers-Kings finals. The Halliburton-Sabonis trade bowl. And Halliburton gets finals MVP. <sighs> Chris Paul ends up retiring. Same with Harden. Alec Burks, a legend. Draymond Green by the Utah Jazz. Or on the Utah Jazz ends up retiring. Tibbs is going um, to retire as well. Uh, Chris Paul and James Harden head to the Hall of Fame. And we, I think, own our first round pick. Yep, it's at 27. Mike Malone is a free agent. I'm going to bring him back. Unless he actually just retired. Oh, and I completely missed that. Mike Malone retired. All right, he said, I've seen enough. We're trying to get a new head coach here in Denver. All right, I just offered a bunch of roles. And we actually got everybody to sign with us. So we can get Nick Nurse, Ty Will, Willie Green, and Quinn Schneider. I'm going to opt for... I kind of want to get Nick Nurse here, um, but Quinn Schneider's got probably the best rating, so we're going to sign him. And I'm going to make this trade with the Utah Jazz. I'm going to send them Kyle Kuzma, an expiring deal, my first rounder this year, and my 2029 first. I'm getting Minnesota's first round pick next year, and I'm getting Colin Sexton, who's under a nice contract, who is going to be our sixth man next year. Chuck Tucker ends up going to the Thunder with the number one overall pick. Let's see who the Jazz took with our pick at 27. It was Jeffrey House, a 6'7", uh, I guess, combo guard out of Wichita State. We're going to pick up the team options on ED and Strawther, but not Muhammad. Gay, uh, Luka Doncic, and Trey Young are about to be unrestricted free agents for the first time in their careers. We're going to hopefully bring back Brown. Um, AJ Griffin, maybe just give the qualifying offer to. He could be used in a trade. We'll give Reggie Jackson just the minimum to come back. Also, AJ Griffin wants $17 million. Get out of here. And Christian Brown actually got a deal from the next two years, $16 million. We are easily matching that. All right, let's do a little reunion here in Denver. He was part of the championship team. Let's try to bring uh, in Bruce Brown on a two-year deal worth $10 million. He's probably going to just replace Markel Fultz. And Luka Doncic ends up signing with the Clippers. KD replaces Luka in Dallas. That is insane. Shangun goes to Golden State. And we get AJ Griffin back on the qualifying offer. He could be a trade deadline piece. We'll see. I just need this team. It's good enough to win a championship. We just got to hope they can finally get it done. Now, I should probably start showing you guys the Hoop Summit because these are the guys that could be next year's draft if we don't win at all. Walt Underwood looks pretty good. Uh, JC Castro out of Purdue, 19-year-old big man. And then you have UA Wind, uh, Windman. Yeah, looks pretty good too out of Germany. I guess we'll see how uh, like what they become. And here we are going into the 2027 season. Shout out to 2K not crashing on me. All right, so this is what the starting five is going to look like. Murray, Brown, Denny, Gordon, Jokic, same as last year. Now we have Sexton coming off the bench. Strother, Brown, Edie, and Griffin. I don't know, man. We'll see if a new head coach can help us get over the top. A rematch of Game 7 last year against the Kings. We ended up losing. They now have CJ McCollum on their team. Also see Clint Capella as well. Jokic has a 36-point triple-double, but sadly not enough. All right, so we are here at the 2027 trade deadline. We are much better at this position than we were last year. We're actually the one seed in the Western Conference with a 38-12 and 12 record. Five and a half games better than the Thunder. Seven and a half than the Rockets. Looks like the Mavericks, obviously, without Luka aren't as good. And the Clippers with Luka are pretty bad, which is kind of just weird to see. Uh, points per game, we are second. 0.1 behind the Dallas Mavericks. Defense, though, we are number one in the Western Conference, which is great. Best point differential in the NBA. I don't know if I'm going to make any trend deadline moves. I think, if anything, we'd use the A.J. Griffin contract. Like, I'd pack a Jim and Strother. I don't hate what Strother has done this season. He's actually up to an 82 overall. I think Bruce Brown's been a great addition. Zach Eady's still a fine backup big man. So I think I'm actually going to let this team 
just officially roll into the playoffs and hope it could do something this season and make it to the NBA Finals. All right, everything may be going our way. Nicole Jokic is your MVP. Um, Petaway is your Rookie of the Year. Dylan Harper, sixth man. Depoy goes to Wemby. Devin Carter, most improved in Dallas with Luka gone. I could definitely agree with those numbers being most improved. Tatum, Coach Player of the Year. And we get Coach of the Year, Quinn Schneider. Maybe Mike Malone just wasn't cut out to head coach this team anymore. Jokic on All-NBA first team once again. And that would be his fourth MVP of his career which is kind of insane. We didn't get anybody on the All-NBA or excuse me, All-Defensive or Rookie Teams. We're going to be taking on the Golden State Warriors in round number one with Ace Bailey, Shangun Kuminga, Pods and Curry. That's a pretty good team right there. And just kind of looking at the player stats, Murray, 20 points per game. There's Sexton off the bench. Basically what I need. Really efficient. I'll take that and can facilitate a little bit. Um, there's Denny. Efficiency was a little down throughout the regular season. Hopefully he turns it around in the playoffs. And are we able to beat the Golden State Warriors in round number one? We split the first two. We split the first four, but we are going to ab like be able to win in six, which is kind of scary. Jokic averaged a 30-point triple-double. Jamal Murray, 24 points. Denny, much better in round one than he was in the regular season. Gordon was really good. Sexton was solid off the bench. Christian Brown struggled, but Bruce Brown stepped up. And we are going to advance to round number two to take on KD and the Dallas Mavericks. So this team also has Trey Alexander from Creighton. Funny enough, KD and Kyrie are paired up again as teammates. Still have Lively, Gafford, the most improved player, Devin Carter from Providence. We do end up winning game one by 19 points. Jokic with a 40-point triple-double. Last time Jokic and KD met in the playoffs, it was round number two of the 2023 playoffs. And obviously, it went for the Nuggets um, or 2023 playoffs. Yeah, uh, we're up 2-0. We're up 3-0. 3-1, to one, gentlemen sweep. Yep, let's go. We are back in the conference finals for the third time in five years. We will take that in round number two. Jokic averaged a 24-point triple double. <laughs> Insane. And Murray averaged 23 points a night. And in the conference finals, we're going to be going up against the OKC Thunder. This team still scares me. Uh, Edgecombe didn't play it all last year. And now he's in the starting lineup. Definitely got a little bit worse. Obviously, no more Shangun there. Game number, or let's just go game one. We ended up losing. Great. Oh, I'm nervous, man. Game two, we do take. Thank God. Oh, my God. We blow them out by 43 points. Love that. Game three, come on, man. 16 assists for Shea. Game four, all right. We stay alive. We win by 23. Jokic with a 28-point triple-double. We go up three to two. Oh, my God. That is such a huge victory. All right. Game six, it's going to be in OKC. Can we beat them on the road to win? OKC just lost to Dallas in real life in six games. Can we do the same thing to them here in 2027? We are coming back a little bit here in the fourth. Down by three. Down by three once again. Down by three. 50 seconds left. Let's see what we can do. And we have the ball. Let's go. So I do not need to go for a three. Chet is guarding Jokic, which is obviously a great matchup. Terrible roll there by Gordon. Oh, man. Okay. I have a mismatch here. We have Murray guarded by Jalen Smith. Um, all right. Let me actually not waste this whole shot clock. There we go. Right to the rim. Oh, Chet met me at the rim, but we get it anyway. One point game. Let's get a stop defensively. Colin Sexton is guarding DeMar DeRozan. I hate it here. I do not like that whatsoever. This is a terrible matchup for us. All right. But obviously, he's not going to take a three. They're going to go in the post here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Murray in the post. Jokic, come over. What is that help defense, Jokic? Not ideal whatsoever. I mean, we could go for... I don't need a three. I don't need a three here. We have plenty of time. We have three timeouts. I don't need a three. Come on, Gordon. Come up and set me a screen. We got to actually score quickly, though, if we're going to go for the two. Um, Gordon, roll to the rim. This should be easy, and he's going to blow that. Murray, get the board. Thank oh, my God, Murray. How'd you bobble that? I hate my life. <sighs> I don't wanna even want to talk about it, man. All right, game seven. I'm done hopping in. Uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. All right, good first quarter. Good first quarter. We outscored them by 13. Good first half. We're up by 15. Don't blow this, and you guys are kind of blowing it. Don't do this. All right, we're, we're good. We're up by 18. We're going to win game seven. Thank God, man. We're back in the finals for the first time since 2023. Jokic averages, once again, a triple-double. 28 points, 14 rebounds, 11 assists. Going up against the Pacers, who won it all last year, right? Yeah, they won it all last year. Halliburton was your finals MVP. Talk about parity, man. A new team every year, which is pretty sick. So we're going to hopefully be the first time a team has repeated since the 2018 season. Game one goes to the Denver Nuggets. Jokic, you are unreal. Pacers have like kind of a similar team to what they have now. Um, they have Ian Jackson, or is that Isaiah Jackson? Oh, it's Isaiah Jackson, never mind. Um, they have Mark Williams, um, and that's kind of it. Everybody else is still kind of the same on this current day roster. We outscored them by eight here in game two, even though Jokic had eight turnovers. Game three goes to the Pacers. They keep their hopes alive. Halberton had 40 and 15. Don't lose game four, please. I hate you guys so much. All right, game five. This is gonna kill me if we lose this one. Thank you. We ended up winning it by 17. Game six, let's get it done. Yes, and the Denver Nuggets 
get their finals champion back and that status is now theirs again as they win the 2027 nba finals Jokic averages 31 points 17 rebounds and eight assists in six games what the hell yeah man that that felt good to finally get that championship back and Jokic is just putting up actual video game numbers in the finals that is insane so yeah that is gonna be for me hope you guys did enjoy the denver nuggets elimination rebuild we only have three left obviously there's gonna be two losers in the conference finals and then one of the nba finals and the team that wins it all we'll just do an 82 and 0 challenge with but yeah that is gonna be for me thank you all for watching i love you guys and i'll catch you on the next one peace